for what values of k for what values of k will the quadratic equation x squared plus k minus 3x plus 0.25k have exactly one solution. So as we saw in the last class, there are three different situations, exactly one solution, no solution, or two solution. So let me rewrite this. So if you have exactly one solution, or they can also say that the uh, the, the uh, parabola just touches the x-axis. This and that means the same thing. Exactly one solution or the parabola just touches the x-axis implies b squared minus 4ac is equal to 0. Okay. So if, is they, if they say two solution or they say that the parabola cuts the x-axis at two distinct points, this implies b squared minus 4ac is greater than 0. And then you can have no solution. Or the parabola does not cut the x-axis. Means b squared minus 4ac is less than 0. So now we have to pick this condition. And that's what they have given, that you got exactly one solution. So, you have to first identify what is A, B, and C. Well, A is 1, B is K minus 3, and C is 0.25K, or a quarter K. So, let's B squared minus 4AC, so re let's rewrite B squared minus 4AC is equal to 0, which means k minus 3. Those who know, you can do it yourself. Pause this video and try to do it yourself. Minus 4 times a, which is 1 times 0.25k is equal to 0. So this is same as k minus 3 times k minus 3. 4 times 0.5 0.25 is going to be 1. So 4 times a quarter is going to be 1. So this is minus k is equal to 0. So let me change color. So this becomes, expanding this, so this is k squared minus 6k plus 9 minus k is equal to 0. Am I right? Hopefully. So k minus k, sorry, k times k is k squared, minus 3k minus 3k is minus 6k, and minus 3 times minus 3 is plus 9. So this is k squared, minus 7k, plus 9, is equal to 0. Now here you can't factorize this, because you can't, you cannot have two factors of 6, which gives you negative 7. Okay, so you can either use the quadratic formula, or use the calculator. Okay, so which are the values of k? So let's go go to uh, equations. Okay, uh, polynomial second degree. So just enter one, negative seven, and nine. Okay, so these are the two values. Okay, so the, which is five point three. 0, 3 or 5.30 5 .5 into dp or 1.670 5.30 so writing the answer k is 5.30 to check the answer you have to have the exact value so I'm just writing in 2 dp or the other answer was k would be 1.70. Am I right? Let's confirm. 1.697 is, so this is also in 2dp. So what we're saying is when k is these two values in 2dp, it will have exactly one solution. 